Yo, let me tell you why banks are not giving you money to buy houses. I mean, seriously, you hear everyone else saying, hey, you know, I just got paid to buy a house. Hey, I just bought up a rental. I just did a, a fix and flip deal. Hey, I got a thousand doors. How are they doing it? Why are banks not giving you this money? The first reason why banks aren't giving you the money is because you don't look good on paper. Okay, most of the time when banks are lending out money, they want to verify, um, you know, who they're doing business with, why they should be doing business with you, and what makes you a good asset to be investing into. Okay, so what's going to make you look good on paper is knowing what your financial statement looks like. Um, in this institution of buying houses, whenever you're dealing with banks, the first thing they're going to ask you for before they pull your credit is send me your personal financial statement. When I first started working with bank, I didn't know what this was. So I figure you might have some of the same issues. So I actually typed up one so that way you can use this as a, um, a blank template. If you'll just go to thisismetakingaction.com, um, you can download our blank personal financial statement so that way you can fill in today. Now on the personal financial statement, it has some of your liabilities and it also lays out your assets and leaves you with your net worth right things like your insurance things like your income your houses your cars all of those things will be notated in a particular box letting the bank know this is how you look on paper not a credit score but this is the stuff that you own these are the expenses you have this is my net worth for a lot of you it's going to make things really clear on why you need to add these houses this real estate to your asset column because you might be in the negative Okay, but to others, it'll really excite you. And when I when I put it together for the first time in 2020, that's when I did my first one. It was really mind blowing to see how much in net worth I had because I had never written it down in that way. The next thing that's holding you back from getting bank funding. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bother you right now, but I had to tell you about our next virtual workshop. Okay, it's the Home Loans for Everyone subject to real estate investing training where you show where we show you how to buy property without having to qualify for a loan. Now, whether you wanna buy this house for a rental property, your personal property, a business, or, um, or an AFL or anything else, right? You wanna buy a property without having to use your own credit. Matter of fact, we're gonna show you how to walk away from the closing with the check i want to see you guys may 27th okay it's a virtual training from 10 a.m to 4 p.m and for those who uh, decide to get the vip i'm gonna meet y'all down at the beach myrtle beach we're gonna be on bike week so i figured i'd invite you guys to hang out with me for about an hour an hour and a half at 6 p.m at one of my airbnbs so i'll see you guys at the next home loans for everyone subject to real estate investing training if you guys want to buy your next property in the next 60 days let's go um, is your lack of experience. Okay, now I know most people will, most people will say this. Well, how can I have experience? How can, how can I get money from banks if they want me to have experience if I've never done this before? <laughs> that is the wrong question, my friend. What you should be asking is how can I get experience if banks won't lend to me in this way? The first way is going to be to partner, okay? You are going to have to find people that have done it before who already have banking relationships, find them a great deal, bring them a great opportunity to partner with you. So then that way, when they go to get the financing for your partnership, you now have experience and you now have a bank funding partner. You see how that is? You see how that's like a shortcut? <laughs> you see how you didn't really have to work hard for that? Um, that is, that's really the key right there. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to do some wholesale transactions. Okay. Wholesale transactions, get your names on HUDs and whether you like it or not, if you show that you've done, uh, you got your name on 50 HUDs this year, you did 50 real estate deals. You bought 50 houses. And when you show those HUDs with your assignment fee on there, that gives banks confidence that you know what a good deal looks like. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, the third reason why banks are not lending to you is because you don't have a good deal. Okay. Now, now the, I will say this is definitely one of the most complicated parts about the real estate investing business is finding great deals, but essentially you need to 
to find off market opportunities where the seller is willing to sell you their property with built in equity. Now, now they might be leaving this equity in because the house needs a little work. They might be leaving this equity in because time means more to them than, than getting all of the money right now. Um, and equity might just be there just because you're a really good salesperson. I mean, honestly, yeah, a lot of the times I've gotten great deals just because my sales game is on point. Okay. What I mean is like when I'm talking to the seller, I'm building up hope, you know, giving them hope that I'm the right buyer from them, you know, for them, you know, giving them hope that I can close quick, you know, giving them hope that I can buy it as is, and this is going to take care of their solution quickly, you know, and then, you know, bringing up a little fear of loss. Well, you know, somebody in my office actually had this deal earlier today. So, you know, I think I might be able to twist my manager's arm and to take your deal first if we can come up with the with the awesome price today. You got to put that sales game on. <laughs> and the last reason why you're not getting bank financing is because you're not working with the right bank. OK, now there are several banks out here. OK, there are ones that don't like to work with investors and only work with owner occupies. There are uh, there are other banks who like to work with, um, you know, accredited investors who have over a million dollars in uh, in operations going on right now. And then there are other banks who are willing to do stuff like DSCR loans where they're using the rent to qualify you, using the house to qualify you, you know, like hard money loans where they're not looking at your credit at all. They're only looking at the deal and exit strategy that you have or private money lenders, you know, who are uh, who don't care about anything about you. They only want to look at the, the property. Now, if you want to learn more about that, I'm actually going to leave a video right over here of how you can get funding for your next deal. Peace y'all.